And we're now joined by UW Health's Medical Director of Infection Control, Dr. Nasi Safdar. Thank you for joining us. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of people getting this kind of COVID-19 fatigue, but we're now seeing the numbers go up. What, how can we control the spread of this virus? You know, ultimately we have to recognize that the virus is transmitted through people. And it's our behaviors, our activities, and what we do during these activities that will determine whether we are um, playing a part in transmitting it. So hard as it may seem, I think this is not the time to say that, uh, that we don't need to do those things and we need to rededicate ourselves to those same behaviors that we started early on in the pandemic. So Dr. Sathar, what would you say, I mean, what do we know is happening this time that might look different and how do we get to those things to curb it? Well, I think the things that are different now is that people seem to be moving around a lot more and with physical movement comes the ability to, to engage with a lot more people. Then you run the risk of getting overwhelmed so contact tracing cannot be done feasibly. And so I think that what it means is that we have to go back into the mindset of thinking that only essential activities should be continuing at this point until we get this more under control. All right, so what is the most important message you want to leave our audience with as we go into the weekend? I think just think about it from the mindset of if our behaviors are responsible for transmission of the virus, it is somewhat within our control then to limit those behaviors. Um, seven months into the pandemic, it, it may seem reasonable for people to be very fatigued, but Wisconsin has never really thus far witnessed the true surge of this pandemic the way that we're doing now. And our response must be proportionate to this crisis. All right, thank you so much for joining us on this afternoon. For testing sites and statewide coronavirus numbers, head to tmj4.com slash coronavirus.